the given equations can be written as x plus y is equal to half minus x upon y and x plus y times x upon y is equal to minus half. Let's denote these equations by 1 and 2 respectively. Now dividing equation 1 by equation 2, we get on the left hand side x plus y divided by x plus y times x upon y and this is equal to on the right hand side half minus x upon y divided by minus half. The right hand side is equal to minus 1 plus 2x upon y and on the left hand side x plus y cancels across the numerator and the denominator. Now let x upon y be equal to z. Therefore the above equation becomes 1 upon z is equal to minus 1 plus 2z which can be written as 2z square minus z minus 1 is equal to 0. This can be written as 2z square minus 2z plus z minus 1 is equal to 0 or 2z times in brackets z minus 1 plus z minus 1 is equal to 0 which implies that 2z plus 1 times z minus 1 is equal to 0. And therefore z is equal to 1 or minus half. Now consider the first case when z is equal to 1. This implies that x upon y is equal to 1. Therefore x is equal to y. Substituting this in the equation 1 which is x plus y is equal to half minus x upon y we get 2x is equal to half minus 1 which is equal to minus half and therefore x is equal to y is equal to minus 1 upon 4. Note that both x and y in this case are negative as required in the problem statement. Now consider the second case when z is equal to minus half. Therefore x upon y is equal to minus half which implies that y is equal to minus 2x. Substituting this in equation 1 which is x plus y is equal to half minus x upon y we get x minus 2x is equal to half plus half which is equal to 1. Therefore minus x is equal to 1 or x is equal to minus 1 which implies that y is equal to plus 2 which is greater than 0 but we are given in the problem statement that both x and y are negative and therefore this case is ruled out. It therefore follows that the solution of the given system of equations is x is equal to y is equal to minus 1 upon 4 and this is the required answer.